Hi, welcome to another video. This one is all about rigid bodies. As you can see on the screen, we're going to create some random shaped rigid bodies in a cloner, um, throw them on the floor, uh, swirl them all around with some turbulence, and then add um, some color to it, like some MoGraph color. Yeah, so we're not, we don't have to color each one. Let's show you how to do it. Right, in a new scene, let's build this rigid body kind of swirls. I don't really want you to call these really. They're like little gemstones, aren't they? Right, so we start off with a cube. Uh, let's bring that down to 50 by 50 by 50. Uh, let's have 50 by 50 by 50 segments as well. Ground shading with lines. And now let's, let's go to MoGraph and let's throw this into a Volanoi fracture. So um, Alt on the keyboard. Hold Volanoi fracture down and then it fractures it into these pieces. Right, so if we go on to there, go on to sources and point generator, we want some nice shaped stones. So if we go for inverse normal and then we just crank up the amount here, we get some nice different shapes and stones here. I think that'd be quite good. So what we do to grab those out is we just make it editable. So click on it, make it editable. And now we've got them all as separate pieces. Right, so all we need to do is grab the ones that we want, ones that we like. So we take one of those. Uh, so look, look for different size pieces. That could be quite interesting. Okay, just grab a few random ones out like that. Um, let's have a look. Let's try. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. We can have any shapes you like it just randomly generates okay if you're happy with say your selection let's go to the rectangle selection tool grab all of those and then pull them out of the top there so they're not in the fracture and then delete the fracture so we've got these right we now need to just remesh these slightly because we've got geometry on one face but not on the other right so if we just highlight them all and then we go to uh, remesh, hold down Alt. That will remesh all of these, which is not bad. Look, I think that will do. You don't need to be perfectly sorted out for this. This is still going to work well. So once we've got them, let's just connect and delete each one. Um, so we've got less kind of pieces to work with. It's a lot cleaner this way, um, like that. So these are all of our pieces. Uh, we can now put these into a cloner. So get a cloner and drop them as a child like that. And what we want to do is create a, a kind of a cube um, using a grid. So if we go 10 by 10 by 10, and then we bring these down, let's see if 20 does it. They might be touching slightly, but that's fine. Right, so now let's make them a bit random. They look a bit uniform, don't they? We want them all to be a little bit more messed up. So let's go back to MoGraph up here. Let's grab a, a random effector. Um, let's do that again, because the best thing to do is collect is select cloner first, and then go to MoGraph, effector, random, because then it applies it. If not, you've got to go and drop it in afterwards. Okay, so what have we got in the random? We have position which is move so we don't really want that we want to keep it like that but we just want to change the rotation and we want to change the the uniform scale okay so rotation let's just move these figures around a bit make it all rotate and then here let's say do 0.3 so we'll get a variation um on the on the scale that from the smallest yeah so we can just change that around a bit so that will be that and now let's just put in a floor so they can all fall onto it. All right, let's make that floor a lot bigger. There we go. And now let's move this cloner up so it can drop. Let's have, our, let's have our scene so we can see what's going on. Right, so there we go. There's our kind of cube of um, all different size, shape stones that we're gonna drop on the floor. So we need to add some um, dynamics now. So the plane, We'll put on a collider. Now let's change the friction to two, so we don't want these to slide off the edges. And so we want to try and get them to like stick a little bit. Uh, and on the cloner, let's add a rigid body tag here. 
and again let's change friction to 2 and the thickness between them let's say 0.2 just so they can collide a lot closer together right let's also change the cloner to a multi instance it should be quicker on its on its calculation and let's add 300 frames all right let's just try that and see what we get okay nice little drop to the floor loads of different colors loads of different size stones okay let's make it more interesting let's add in some forces now so let's put in a, a turbulent force let's bring that up to about 80 and the scale about 150 let's give that a go so as it drops it should start to just like nicely just move all around on the screen like that you see now we could tow we could add a field to that to try and bring them in a little so they don't go too far out so you put a spherical field in here like that and let's just see if we can get these to have the have the force happening a little bit closer around here yeah that probably it's not too bad we're just trying to get a lot of swirly movement here because we can come in close here with the camera and then we can have a look at these say from different angles like this but as long as we've got swirls and things are moving around and yeah that's not too bad i don't think let's just have another look again yeah i mean you can change the force the strength you can have these really spinning but i think just some nice nice gentle movement like that all changing around is quite nice so that's so far so good but now they're a little bit boring because they're all one color now we can put in colors for each of these we can drop in a color for each of these five here or a nicer way is to use a plane effector and influence the color right so let's just call that plane effector color and then if we go down here where it says parameter you see we've got fields color so if we go to fields we can influence some color on here by using say a random field and then if we check here this will be the color mode look and then if we go to color remap where it says no remap we change it to gradient okay now we can change this gradient here now this is not working <laughs> well spotted it's because again i should have selected cloner first effectors i need to drop it in here okay so the color gets dropped in there like that <laughs> yeah uh, any effect any any force effect or anything you're adding on to a cloner into the effectors field here select cloner first <laughs> it makes it a lot easier right so let's go back to where we were we were looking at this weren't we so what i was doing is saying um let's not have another one yeah if we move this gradient around that we can have darker stones there look so almost black and then if we move this one up we can get some extreme so we can go some really really black really white and then some a few grays in between as tones when we've got that and we're happy with it we can go down here where it says load preset and we can add one of these you know so we could have a rainbow set of colors okay so it goes across here and it's influencing the gradient that we just applied to make the scale a little bit smaller okay so that's really it as far as this effect i just want to show you one last thing it's how to how to color this because at the moment if i was to let's say put this in standard render for example right and i just do a, a, a grab of that right they're the colors but there's no there's no effects on the colors because we haven't got a color material here this is just using it from the color source here in the MoGraph. so we need we need an actual material so we can put reflection on and transparency and all of that so how do we get a material to pick up on this MoGraph color so what we need to do is we actually need to create a material and add this effect to it so what we do is we, we first of all we change the um, render type to standard okay because i found i can't find a way around it in redshift at the moment so i'm just going to do it in standard um i want a standard material and then under texture we go to mograph color shader now this is probably all in redshift so if you've got that knowledge 
please let me know and I'll start doing it like that. So this is going to pick up on this uh, color shader that we've just created now. So if we drop this onto the cloner, um, it picks up the color you see. So if we just click on the color, let's just have a look. For, um, no, let's just change a few things first. Let's make the reflectance a little bit more, just so we've got a little bit of change going on there. So let's just dial up that reflectance. Look. So we've got a lot more shine going on. So let's just have a quick preview of that. There we go. Look. So we can see we've got just straight away the, the, the influence of having the material with reflectance, picking up on that color, is making a lot of difference to these pieces. Look. Now, what I would say is we've got a lot of green and yellow here and blue, and we haven't got much of the red. So can we bring some of that back in? Because this is supposed to be a rainbow of different colors. So let's just have a look at what we can change there. Um, if we go on the color parameter now, sorry, under fields, go on the random, go back to color remap. We've got this here, haven't we, with the the color spread so we should have purples in here all the way through to reds um, but when we do when we do a render across that we're getting more of this central section here we're getting the yellow through to the blue we're not getting much of the other colors picking out so let's just try and kind of clip this in and just watch what happens on the screen whether we can try and pull this these colors in towards the center a little bit more and then just do a, um, another render there. So now we're bringing in the reds, you see. So sometimes the scale here needs to be clipped in just so it picks up on, on the full range of colors. So now we've got the purples at one end here, look, and then we're clipping in and we're getting the reds to the other end. So we've got this lovely mix of, of multicolor rainbow gems. And I think that really does look good. You know, you've got a lot of um, options here now. Uh, we can add transparency lots of reflectance and stuff and just starting to make these these gems look good so hope that has helped um, any comments especially on the redshift thing using the uh, MoGraph shader if there's a way around that that'd be great um, put it in the comments below my name is Mike German visual animation take care goodbye for now